What's up guys? King Bimo TV here going to do the arena open day one. Compete for monetary rewards. Cons of Tark Air Sealed. So I've only done four or five drafts in this set, so I don't know the format super well, but let's see what we open. Alright, rares. Uh okay, Siege Rhino's solid. Uh, uh, wingmate rock five mana three four flying raid create a three four flying Ooh, oh this is good this one's a goodie all right so we got a white rare that's very good uh siege rhino solid crackling doom this card's okay right uh, opponent sacks a creature and two damage so it's fine i would say these are Generally speaking, not the strongest rares. Wingmate Rock is good, that's for sure. Um, yeah, five mana make two three fours. Pretty good. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start. Ooh, three Mardu Horde Chiefs. Uh, we're definitely white guys. Uh, Asban Battle Priest. Uh, this card's good too. Alabaster Karen is good too. Look at that. Look at this. Looking good. Timely Horde Mate's good. Rock, good. All right, so I like we're 100% white, I think. Um, we got some good uh, Asban cards. Are we Asban or are we Mardu? Wow, wow, wow. All right, so are we Asban, which is white, green, black, or Mardu, which is white black red so we're definitely not blue looking at our blue cards yeah I think we could say we're not blue mana base we don't have any of the tri lands all right so we're definitely white we're definitely not blue so how's our red red we have just glancing here, seeing what we have. Deflecting Palm. Crackling Doom. I think we're just Abzan. Let's let's see what we got for uh, Abzan. Ancestor's good. Our white is so strong. Ruthless Ripper. This card's probably fine, right? Debilitating Injury's good. I don't know if this card's good. I gotta see, like, what can I do with this card? So this is really good for raid. Because it's flyer and it's cheap. Um, so that's cool for sure. Uh, Saddle Brute. I mean, this card's not great, but it's probably not the worst. Dutiful Return, maybe one. Nightblade's probably solid. This card's bad. This card's fine. This card's fine. Green. What do we have for green? Hardened Scales. I mean, we could be Hardened Scales, depending on how many Outlast cards we have. We seem a lot more raidy than uh, Outlast, but let's see here. Teamer Charger's okay. I think Awaken the Bear is solid. Woolly Lockstone's good. All right, we're a little bit short on playables here. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't get to the good ones here. Two Abzan Charm. This deck looks really good. Look at all these. Playable, playable, playable. That's 24. Mana base is good too. God, am I going to mess this up? This looks really good, right? Um, yeah, I mean, this looks like a really good deck. We have 24 playable, so we'll have to cut some. This is not accurate, our mana here. This costs 5. This is four. This is four. Four, five, five, three, three, three. All right, so we definitely play at least 17 lands. Maybe 18. But this looks good. 20 creatures. So we can cut some creatures here. Ripper, reveal a black card in your hand, flip it over. 
when it's turned face up. I feel like Ripper's, Ripper's solid. I, I like the early drop creatures, especially because of this Horde Chief. I don't need Awaken the Bear. I don't think it would hurt if we played one, though. Nice little combat trick. Maybe three Alabaster Kareen's too much. It's a lot of four drops. I think, I think we can cut one of these. Maybe this. I don't mind this card, but... Four Alabaster Kareen's. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten three drops. Six four drops. What else are we going to do on turn four? Do we have turn four morphs? No. I think we'll cut this Krumar Bond King. This deck looks good, guys. I don't know. This deck looks really good. Mana base, let's get some lands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, so we got two white here. White is the most. Black. I mean, this is pretty good. We could add one more of each. I think we could add another white. Seven white. Seven white right now. Five green. Five black. Definitely add another white, I think. And then another. Hmm, I don't want to mess this up. 14, 11, 8. If we go like this seven white sources, six black sources. Five green sources. Is that enough green sources? Maybe I go like this. Seven white sources, six black, six green. I think this is, that's good. Our early drops are black and green anyway, so we want those. Yeah, guys, this looks good. Um, trying to think what else we might want to play instead of any of these. I don't know. This looks pretty good as is, I think. Our blue stinks. Dutiful returns probably like okay, but our red's not great. I don't think we're playing hardened scales. Cool. It's our deck. Looks good. Looks good. Let me know what you guys think. I'm I'm happy with this. I just wish I was better at this format. If, if this was this good and it was um Wilds of Eldraine or uh Lost Caverns, I'd be like, Oh, we made it. We made it to day two. But right now I'm like, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I'm still pretty new at this format, so let's give it a shot. Jackabus. Jackabus. Uh, all right, if we had a forest, this would be a lot better. Oh, do we keep this? This is hard. I think I mulligan this. God. All right, we'll keep this one. I think we'll get rid of Forest and Asban Battle Priest. So we got turn three Asban Guy, turn four Siege Rhino. Mulling the five is not a very great way to start this. I'm going the full control. Alright, um, let's play our uh, Morph here. And 
their own morph. Alright. Uh, we'll just pass here. Oops. I don't want to attack. Alright. Got to be tighter with this full control. But that means their card's good, right? So we inadvertently figured out their morph's pretty good. If it was bad, they'd just chump lock. So it could be their own um, Abzan guide. They have quite the card advantage over us right now for mulling. Okay. Second main morph, probably. All right. All right, we lose a good one. That's okay. Abzan Charm, kill a creature with power 3 or greater, draw 2 cards, lose 2 life, distribute 1-1 one, one counters. So we'll play Siege Rhino here. We'll go off the full control given we're totally tapped out. No need to waste my time and their time. If we draw land, we'll play Armin and Troops and pump up Armored and Troops and the Siege Rhino. We'll do one of each. If they kill our Siege Rhino, we could play Sultai Scavenger next turn. If we don't draw land, maybe we'll play Abzan Charm. Um, maybe draw some cards, maybe kill one of their creatures. It'll probably be, I'll do it at the end of their turn, likely. It's a weird attack. Just don't know the format that way. With with four mana open, like I don't even know what they could have. I'm I'm assuming they have a pump spell. I don't think it's a creature that flips over there. For four mana. Like, was that their plan the whole time? Could be. Drew the land, play armor and troops. And let's attack. We're winning the life total game here, and again, we don't have to go into full control given uh, we're tapped out. Let's see how they attack here. That's brutal. That is brutal. Alright, this is what we got. Bad draw. Um, yeah, I mean, we could, if we attack here, we're going to get double blocked for sure. And then we'll be trading our 5-6 with their 4-5. And then they'll go to 8. They have so many cards in their hand. I don't think that's worth it. So, um, we'll pass and then we'll go into full control again. That, that discard two cards is really brutal for us. We're drawing most of our good cards, really. I mean, we still have Wingmate Rock. We have another Abzan Charm. Just passing? Okay. All right. Pretty bad draw there. Still no attacks. Five three. I am surprised they didn't block um, earlier when our morph attacked into their morph, because I don't think Krumar Bond King is very good. I think it's fine, it's playable, but. As you guys probably remember, I did cut it from my deck. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. It goes a long way. I'm trying to grow my channel. Can't do it without your help. 
what do we want to draw here? I mean, we definitely want to draw an, an Abzan Charm. So would they double block, we could two for one them. Uh, anything with Outlast would probably be fine. Wingmate Rock would be great. All right, they have their own Outlast creature. Well, that doesn't bring anything back, unfortunately. Just a 3-2. I don't think we even play it. Just pass here. All right, they got their blue now. So if I did attack earlier, when I had the five six and the five five, and they had the four five and the morph, I attack. They double block the five six. I kill the four five. Then they have the morph, and they're at eight. They eventually flip over the five three. Then I can't attack anyway. So we're, the situation we'd be in would be worse, right? They'd have five less life, but they'd have the five three and the o four, and we just have a five five. So I think uh, it was right that I didn't make that attack into the double block. We're about the same time-wise, and this is this is only best of one. It shouldn't really matter. That's a good one. More card advantage for them. I don't think we have any draw spells in our deck, right? Just uh, Ab Abzan Charm. Be nice to get one of our flyers here. There's really a lot of good cards we could draw here. They get rid of land, land. I think if I draw Awaken the Bear, the combat trick, plus three, plus three, and trample, I probably still won't attack. I'll just save it in case they attack. War Chief. What does a 1-1 one, one do for us right now, really? Not much. I think we'll just play it. It's not like we have Wrath or anything. I will keep one land in my hand in case they have the um, Ravenous Rats type card. And this is kind of this could be good to use as a raid. Right, I could just attack with the 2-3. And then I'll be able to raid with it without really any consequence of any major loss of uh, permanence on the field. Alright, that's good. Something, at least. Uh, if I attack with the 5-6, I still... It's just a one-for-one. One. Is it worth going to kill the morph? With debilitating injury. Three mana up. Let's do it. Okay. We saved it. They've drawn nine more cards than us this game. Is that right? No, minus two here. That's a good one. So that's when it deals damage to me, they loot. Blocker for that. 
We can bring it back with Horde Mate too, so we got a blocker for a few turns there. I don't have a ton of removal in my deck. I have the two Abzan Charms. And I have obviously the debilitating injury we just cast. That's it. So all we have left is Abzan Charm. For that uh, Gruel whatever card. Uh, I think this is a blocker for us. Doing one to them I don't think is worth it. Maybe if they were a little lower, but sure, that's fine. So we'll bring that back next time with with Timely Horde Mate and we'll attack with Marty Warchief. All right, it's a big boy. That's that 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 could help for sure. All right, I'm gonna attack with the five five here. Um, I'll probably just trade with the five three, but that'll let me attack with the uh, the five six later on. They might have a trick. They already used one of their tricks. Yeah, I think I'd rather kill the 5-3 here. So we're primarily attacking to play Timely Horde Mate. Which will get our bat back, which will be able to block their 4-5. But once we kill their 5-3, then we can attack with our Siege Rhino. If we get to kill them. They might just kill us anyway. And they do. Okay. Alright, now we'll play Timely Horde Mate. I think I'm going to play land and play Wooly Loxodon too. No reason to keep that in my hand. I'll be able to flip it next turn, so... You know, I was gonna go in full control in case I had one of those one of those morph cards that flip up for, for free, but I had no cards in my hand, right? So there's really no point. So they got Wooly Loxodon, so that's that's good. Good for them. Card advantage they gain from looting is just a bit too strong. Really need to kill that. All right, they're tapped out. That's nice. Yep, doesn't matter though. <sighs> man, that discard two cards ruined me, man. To have this in play right now and have Abzan Charm. Wow, nice. All right, we're dead next turn, I think. We're at six, so even if we draw Abzan Charm for the removal of one of them, we still have the other one to deal with. We have Wingmake Rock. Uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. Did I get too... Did I get greedy with my mulliganing by going for a better hand? 
The second one was absolutely not a keeper. The first one maybe, but if I just like if I missed my fourth land drop where I didn't get the third color, like I just lose. So pretty unfortunate. Wild Whaley. Wild Whaley. Uh, Alright, I can't keep this, right? Alright, this one I guess I keep. I guess I'll get rid of the Charger. The Charger's a 3 drop. Get rid of Ar Armament Troops. Oh, God. Alright, it's fine draw. We, we really needed an, uh, a forest though. Parapet, sure. Alright. Uh, I think we play the Charger first. So we can flip that up, and when we do something named Trample, it's on the turn. Okay. All right, that's good. Uh, I think we'll just play that, right? Get over their wall. So far, just Sultai. Although thematically, they're using the um, Abzan cards. Did they miss a land drop? So far they have. Alright, that's a good sign. Another land, not bad, but still not um, not the one we want. So let's attack. Alright, then we'll play... Uh, I think we play the Battle Priest is better here. Because I can't flip Abzan Guide until I draw green, so. Another more. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. All right, we'll attack with our two three. We'll play the night blade here. Then we'll outlast this. Now it has life link and death touch, which is cool. Alright, they drew their fourth, fourth land, which also gives them red and white, which they did not have. They're looking at my Battle Priest here. Another morph, wow. Still need my green. Uh, I'm going to attack again, and then I'll outlast both of my creatures. And then I can play a morph.
six land, uh, five lands for them. Probably start flipping some of these morphs. All right, so now my creatures can have just death touch. Still the two three they don't have an answer for yet. And now they start outlasting. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I think we just continue to attack with our 2-3 in the air. We'll outlast with Elk Blade and then we'll play uh, Horde Chief. Now this guy's big enough that he could probably start attacking next turn. O five, o seven, defender. Still no green. We attack with our 4-5. They'd have to triple block to kill our 4-5. So 3 for 1. That's pretty brutal, right? They probably won't do that. God, why couldn't that be a forest? This card doesn't seem very good. Five mana, zero seven. Tap target creature. Looks like a chump blocker to me. Okay, need that forest now. They need an out for my 4-5. That 5 mana minus 4 minus 4 card wouldn't work. We're probably playing more green sources than Arena would recommend too. 23% chance to draw a green source which is five forests or one blossoming sands, which is the green white tap gain one life land. Just passing, huh? Okay. All right, I mean, if we're not gonna draw a forest, might as well draw something relevant, right? Go to combat, what will they tap down? Probably or four or five, I would think. Two five. Okay. They're gonna take four. Looks like they're gonna take four. Chump block. Decisions, decisions. Okay, take four. Okay, land number six. 
four five flying prowess. All right, so we need we need to draw green. I mean, we've this has been long enough. Come on, dude. Uh. Yeah, like if we swing out, nothing really happens beneficial to us. They could block both our flyers and one would even die now. Yeah, I think we just, just attack with our 4-5. Or If we don't draw a forest soon, we're going to lose. And they have all five colors. Oh, six. All right, we just got to kill that flyer. The wall's going to start tapping our 4 or 5 down soon. If they leave the mana up for the wall, maybe I'll just tap the Nightblade instead of even attempting to attack with it. Bold move. Surprising move, honestly. I feel like they definitely have tricks now, right? We need we need a green man. We're we're really handcuffed here. Come on, Forest. I I guess that's the smart time to do it. Kudos to our opponent. Forest. Come on, dude. Uh All right, our opponent has four creatures in play. We could attack with six creatures. And they have two mana up. Do we just attack for everything? Imagine if we drew a green here. If we attack with just the flyers, they'll take two. Unless they have a combat trick. If we attack with everything... Um, I think I'm just going to attack with the flyers. It's just like, if they have a trick, we're just so beat up. We still might be beat up. Might lose one of our flyers here. They're blocking pretty confidently, so... No? Alright, good. We'll play our fourth swamp. Attack with the morph. Just the morph, too. I, could, I mean, it could be literally anything, right? Just, just gonna take it. I don't want it to be the uh, Abzan guide. That lifelink would be pretty tough for us, so.
Come on, Wild Whaley. What are we doing? You had to consider I wouldn't block, right? Why are you looking at Sagu Archer? Dragon Eye Servants. Savants. Alright, well that's the card I thought it would be, and I hoped it wouldn't. Alright. Alright. That's a good one. Still not green, but... I'm just going to attack with a 1-1 one, one here, I think. Oh no, they can't block my 4-5 either. Or, I mean, of course they can block our 4-5, but... Yeah, let's go to combat, baby. Let's do it. Just the 4-5? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cool. So I, I can remember when I flip up this morph all the way in the left, I give something trample. So if they do that again, we could just trample through and hit them for three. All right, so we get two three fours right now. So next turn, we're swinging out. Let's draw a forest too, right? Put the icing on the cake here. They still have four cards in their hand, you know? If they have that card that's uh, Soul Tie and X, they just like play it on... S oh, actually, they don't have that much mana, right? They could play it on three right now. That's not very good. Wouldn't be surprised if they have that card, though. Like, all my opponents always have that card. Come on, let's draw a forest so we can attack so comfortably, given we have as. Abzan Charm and Awaken the Bear. They may even consider tapping our Wingmate Rock. That way, don't gain as much life. I think I just chump block that. No green, you know, I have no tricks. So, like, yeah, I could double block with my two morph creatures or double block with the two alabaster corins, but if they have anything, we get blown out. Oh my god. We're just swinging out. Let's do it, boys. Let's get in here. I don't know if it's right, but I'm I'm tired of this, man. We can give something trample. I think I'll show them Awaken the Bear to do three more damage to them. Let's see if they flip their morph first, actually. I'd rather that happen. Let them flip their morph. Cool. So that's why we did that. So we will flip this. I'll show them that we are not just two colors. I don't love showing them either of these, but I think I'd rather them know Awaken the Bear. They take five, six, seven, eight right now. Why do you say oops? Why'd they say oops? Why'd they say oops? I didn't make a mistake. 
We're just playing this because it's a body. They're at two. We have a lot of creatures in play. They do have the Abzan guide, though. So I guess they're essentially at six. Another wall. A boring deck. Too many walls in this format. Creatures you control have vigilance and can block an extra creature in combat. Well, the wall deck strikes again. Why is he saying good game? Does he think he wins? Is he gonna scoop? Like, you didn't win yet, bro. I didn't even draw my green. Is he really just mashing good game right now? Okay, I'm gonna mute this guy. Oh ho 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 ho! Green! That's nice. Alright. Um, if we get rid of their 4 5. If we play this, they're going to know we have Awaken the Bear, and they're going to play around Awaken the Bear. I don't know. Do I just play it? I could play it and Abzan Charm their 4 5. Then I'll attack with my Flyers. They only have one flying creature, and it's the O5. And then I attack with my other four creatures. They could block pretty handily. Or we just play it and awaken the bear. Yeah, I think we just... Uh, I don't know. They know we have awaken the bear. This is safe. Yeah, let's just attack with everything. We might kill their Sagu Archer here too. Yeah, okay, so that's dead, as we expected. Now we have four other creatures, there's two other blockers. So they could block. Yeah, they. Yeah. Yep, so they'll kill my morph here. Alright, so that probably wasn't the best plan, but that's okay. That's alright. That wasn't a good attack. I should have just attacked with the flyers. Just ran, running out of time. I think that's the right block. What they just did, I think, is right. They could just block one of our flyers so their monastery flock doesn't die. That's probably even better. Why are they counting my mana base? They know what I have in my hand. Still not sure why they were mashing good game. Did they really think they were that far ahead? Like, they saw I was mana screwed. I think, for them, the right block is to block my 3-4 with their 0-5, and only that. They really want to kill my 3-2 here? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's the right block. Because now I'll kill their Sagu Archer. The other way, I don't kill their Sagu Archer. They should put the 2-5 on our 2-3 and our 2-2. Do they have a trick? I'll just wait here a second, just to kind of bluff it. No, they know what I have. I mean, They just don't know what this morph is. So it's good they didn't kill this morph, because we know what it is. It's an Abzan guide, which is really good. So I don't know. Should I mash good game to them? Like... All right, just attack with everything. Why 
wild whaley. Now, if they were mashing good game because they thought they were going to win and they're being a dick, it's just going to be really nice after I win this game. I should start mashing good game, but I'll wait until I know for sure. <laughs> like if they were tapped out. Oh, God. This is confusing, man. All right, so their 2-5 is blocking our 2-2. Two two. So they're basically saying, yes, you can kill me with Awaken the Bear. That's what they're saying right now. Kill me with Awaken the Bear. Uh, what do we do? I mean, they could easily have a removal spell, right? They're taking five right now. They're at six. All right. Good game. What a loser. You guys, if you watch my, my content, don't just slam good game over and over again. Unless they're bad. You know, if they're doing it to you, then yeah, give it back to them. But... Give me a break. And like, I was clearly just had black and white mana in play the entire game. They should be, they should be thankful they even had a chance in that game. Uh, Al Laporta. Al Laporta. All right, no black in this hand, but at least it's not a clear mulligan, I guess. Just draw an early swamp. That's it. So this is the first time we've had seven cards at our hand to start the game, so that's exciting. Okay, not black yet. Let's go back into full control here. Alright, we need a black source now. Play our good morph. Please draw a swamp. Swamp, 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 swamp. Not a swamp. Alright, let's attack here. If they block, we'll awaken the bear. They have Wooly Loxes on. That's cool. I'm surprised they blocked there. That That's how I, I treat morphs, at, re at least. Like, if your morph is bad, like, just block with it, right? Because, like, who cares? But if it's good, like, you know? All right. Again, a fine draw, but we really just want to swamp. This is six to flip, right? No, six. All right. Not a swamp. We can go off full control right now, since we don't have, we're tapped out and we don't have anything we could play. Siege Rhino, it would be nice to be able to cast a card like that, huh? Alright, they're playing biggies. Oh, 
how can one be so unlucky? Alright, attack for two in the air. Let's play another one. Do we take eight here? Do we double block a hooting mandrel? There's quite a lot of pump spells in this format. Removal spells. I think we just take eight. Draw a swamp, we could play two cards next turn. Two mana, two, two, gets plus two, plus two, we'll regenerate it. Nice card. Come on, guys, what what is going on? 19%, okay. To draw a swamp, 23% to draw scored bar um, a black source. Alright, so the one green pump spell, Awaken the Bear, is that the most common one? Like, if I quadruple block the Hooting Mantrals, this is probably the Abzan Guide, right? Alright, I'm going to double block the Abzan Guide, and I'll double black block, block the Hooting Mandrills. I don't think they have two combat tricks, they probably have one. So they'll really want to flip this to gain some life, but if they flip it, they only kill one creature, and then their Hooting Mandrels will die. I think that's a pretty aggressive attack on their end, but I'm not mad at it. We just got, we have to draw a Swamp. Can't win unless we draw a Swamp. All right, what do you got? They want to kill my Morph. Which is fine. We could flip it over and make it a 3-1 if we wanted to, but that would be not beneficial at all right now. El Laporta. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is what we were playing around earlier, so this is a bad... It's a 5-5 five, five now, so they still only kill one of these. I'm still banking on that's what it is. Alright, so we take four. We lose two of our creatures, they lose one of theirs. Not bad. We're dead, we just lose. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, so they swing out, we lose. Swing out, we lose.
Yeah, I mean, we, we lose no matter what, right? We, we don't know this is an Abzan guide, but, like, it is. Are we not dead? I mean, we're essentially dead, but... We're not dead. Okay, so it's not an Abzan guide. Siege Rhino puts us to four. If we draw a Swamp here, we're still alive. All right, live another day, maybe. We have Abzan Charm here, so we can kill their Siege Rhino and block with something else. Uh, okay, so they didn't flip the face down card last turn, so it's probably not an Abzan guard. So when they attack, we'll block the Siege Rhino with our Siege Rhino. And when they... Uh, wait, no, that kills us, right? No. Yeah, that'll kill us by... Damn it, that'll kill us on its own. The Death Dealer can be pumped twice. So we'd have to block that and kill the Siege Rhino. Or we could just play the Ancestor here. Do we play the Ancestor? Yeah, I think we just play the Ancestor. So the Ancestor will block the... Rakasha, Siege Rhino, Black Siege Rhino, and we'll let the Morph hit us. One pump, sure. We need a relevant creature next turn that costs four or less, or a removal spell that costs four or less. Damn. Mana screwed again. Blue men, 486. Blue men, 486. Guys, I don't think it's my day. All right, we'll mulligan. Uh, this looks pretty good for a mull. We have our three lands. The charger, maybe? Yeah, I think it's the charger. Are we on the play? We are on the play. Prowess. Uh, all right, let's attack with our 04. Come on, block. I know you want to block. No, I want to wimp. Their own war chief. All right. I think we'll just play Nightblade here. Then we'll pass. We could double outlast next turn. Go 
going nope, going to full control. Looks like they might be missing a color too. What's cool is if I put a counter on like Mardu Warchief or the one one, it gets stuck death touch because of Nightblade. It's pretty sweet. Alright. So yeah, let's just take three, I guess. That's a good one. Uh, I think we kill the rock and attack with our death touchers. Or just attack with our death toucher. And then we can outlast with the disowned ancestor. Could probably assume they were just attacking last turn because of raid. Okay, I know that one too. Um, what do we do? Siege Rhino, Outlast. Attack with Nightblade. I think Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino Outlast is good. Let's draw another Abzan Charm, huh? Some instant trick would be great. Awaken the bear. Three three double strike prowess. They'd have to pump it twice to kill the Sone Ancestor. For prowess. Or they give it protection from black. One one counter and protection from black, that's probably what they have for the dragon style twins. Just just jump block for now. I should be able to swing back pretty heavy. Ride down. Okay. Alright, we're at seven. They're getting pretty low. One card in the yard. All right, let's attack with the four five. Rhino, the elk blade, they'd have to triple block. So we could attack both of these. They'll essentially take eight. We could play Horde Chief, and as long as they don't have another ride down. Uh, 
we'll be okay. Maybe we even debilitating injury the dragon style twins. Do we attack with this too? And then we'll have three blockers up and debilitating injury. I think that's probably good. I should have had full control on there for sure. Um, not thrilled. Like we're dead to another ride down if we don't debilitating injury this. Still gotta worry about that 3-4, but I can play the 3-3 three, three next turn. They do only have three cards in their hand. I I'm sure they're they're missing some mana that they'd like. We go to four. Uh, good, two flyers. I think we pretty much attack the same way. Attack just the. Di I could attack with everything. If I attack with everything, I can't attack with everything, right? Definitely shouldn't attack with my one one token. All right, so if they block our 4-5 with their 2-3, and they block their 1-1 one, one on our 2-3, that's 4-8. Sorry, they block 2, they block that and that. So they take 4-8-9, they take 9. So they're not dead, even if, they, if, even if they have nothing. So let's attack here and here and here and here. Yeah, let's do that. In full control, I could play Soltai Scavenger next turn. Dragon Sile Twins is dead, and they'll take six. Okay. Is this better? I think this is better. Because then I could potentially play the Soltai Scavenger even cheaper later, I think. Because it, it essentially costs four now, so it's the same cost. I think they're missing a color. Sorry, blue men. I've been there. Chew... Chew... I'm not going to say that one. Oh, classic. Classic missing a color from our hand, but we'll keep it. I mean, if we draw two lands and we could play Wing Make Rock on turn five, it doesn't matter that we don't have black. But let's just draw a swamp, right? Ripper, no swamp, 
Do we play... I think we just play Charger here as a 3-1. Ancestor. Sure. Blossoming Sands. Look at them. Ooh, look at that. Look at us. Uh, yeah. So we'll play a Swamp here. We'll attack with our 3-1. They block. We pass. Another tap land, they'll probably outlast and attack us for one. Okay, cool. They don't attack with Ripper, okay. I guess that makes sense, right? Do we attack? I mean, I feel like they trading Ripper with 3-1 is probably fine, right? We'll mostly be in the air, but... I guess we don't, just in case they kill our Alabaster Corrin, we want to be able to attack turn 5 with Wingmate Rock, so... Um, we'll just play this. We'll pass. Alright, whenever they play a land, I mill a card. When a permanent, they mill a card. They just missed a land drop. They're in trouble. They are in trouble. Let's do the bird stuff. Oh, they hit their fourth land. All right. We mill our own ripper. They pass. All right. Well, we know what we're going to do here. We're going to attack. Are they going to kill our 3 4? Destroy target attacking creature. All right. Well, they should have done that before, but. Um. Three cards in the yard. So we could play Horde Chief and Sultai Scavenger. That seems good. Alright, we'll keep attacking in the air. Eight in the air next turn. Banner. Yeah, I think I think we got him this game. Milling a forest, that's good. Another flyer. Oh, and it's haste too. Make that nine in the air. We just pass here because we don't want to get wrathed, right? If they play a flyer, they could block our three, four, and then they take six. Yeah, so even if they have a flyer, we're still good. Just playing around Wrath here. All right, cool. Blackmore, Blackmore. Wow, this is the first time we've had it, guys. All three colors in our opening hand. We got some good, good ones in here too. I draw a few more lands. All right, just maybe two more lands here, and we're good. Chief of the Edge, land, 3-1. I don't think they'll attack here, but if they do, I think we block. Morph, okay. I think we play our own morph this turn.
go into full control. Watcher of the Roost. They reveal Sage Eye Harrier from their hand. Attack for two, sure. They play a morph. This is four to flip. <laughs> so I don't know it's a Sage Eye Warrior, but that's going to be my assumption. And that's a two five. All right, do we play the Karin here? This is five to flip. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'll attack with a three one here. Right, that's good. We'll play the Curran here. We'll stay in full control since we do have a morph. Could cause zero to flip up. It's four to flip this up, which would be a two five because it's chief of the edge. Wonder if they attack this turn. Probably not, right? I do want to play Wing Mate Rock though, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna attack with the Karin. And they'd have to double block to kill it. Oh, they can't actually double block, right? Alright, good. So let's uh, let's play land. Let's attack with our two three and our three one. Trades, cool. Play wingmate rock. Get two three fours in the air. Keep our air dominance. of the edge. Alright, we'll take three. No reason to fall into one of their traps. Life shouldn't be a problem for the, with us given Wingmate Rock and even our morph creature, which is the Abzan Guide. Alright, wonder what they have. Let's see. Let's play our forest, and I think we just swing out here. We'll gain four life here, at least. Potentially eight. That's good. It's good that resolved. If they don't block our morph, then uh, I don't think I'll flip it. Two, five. Okay. So they're going to block our morph here. Yeah, I think if they block, we definitely flip it. They blocked a three, four. All right, so they're taking seven right now. They probably expect it to be, be at the Abzan Guide. I would at least. Yeah, I would rather flip that here. Well, I mean, I definitely want to flip it here, right? It's a complete no-brainer, actually. All right, we go to 24. No reason to block. We have infinite help.
Health of it is a resource, just like mana, just like creatures in play. Alright, that stops us a little bit. Oh yeah, it's a 4-3 too, that's good. We draw the nuts, wow. Uh, okay, better to be lucky than good, and we got very unlucky the first few games, so maybe our luck is turning around. I think we just swing in with everything. They're tapped out, so... Probably block wing, wing, make, wing mate rock. Do they double block it? If they double block it, I'll just kill the Sultai. It's just double blocking there, huh? Alright, so if we put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Doesn't do anything. Put a plus one, plus one counter on... So if we kill Chief of the Edge, then Sultai Scavenger dies and Wingmake Rock doesn't. And yeah, that's the play. Whew, what a good card, huh? Awesome. Yoda? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, looks good. Gotta turn one, two, and three play, so... Uh, I think we still play our untapped land here. Fine. So turn three, Horde Chief. After we attack with our 1 5. And then turn four, Horde Chief. Play Squared Barons. That's what it looks like at least. Make a 5 5. Oh my God, that doesn't seem very fair. Changes our play big time too. Damn, being on the play this game is so different. Sure, we'll take five. Well, now we should be able to attack unless they play a 6-6 six, six now. <laughs> Attack. Word Chief, Blossoming Sands. Just jump block here, no need to take five. Uh, imagine if we draw a rock again. We make wing mate rock. Black, green. Are they four colors? Are they five colors? Green, green. Okay. Ramping. Alright. Nice removal for that, just in time. Uh, I think we'll kill that, and then we'll kill the 2 1. Doesn't matter for that, right? We do. We attack here. Uh, I think we could just attack here. Let's attack here. Let's hope they don't block at all, or they don't block with the four five. They're probably worried about their four five. If they do block with the four five, we'll just Abzantron it. Okay, cool. So that's what we wanted. Um, I think we'll just play our Horde Chief here. We have another Chump Blocker for their 5-5. Five five. We'll 
we'll take four here. Turn three, five, five is pretty good. Another flyer. We, we need our flyers here. That is not a flyer. Hmm. We could play this, pump up our ancestor, and make a 5-5 five five here. Then we still got to deal with the creatures in the air. Uh, Murek Nightblade wasn't a good draw. We really needed a land there. Well, if we play it, it is Death Touch. That'll stop them from attacking with the 5-5. Five, five. And then we'll take 7. We'll go to 6. Yeah, I mean, we're not, not in great shape. Uh, I guess just like not attacking um, at a wall basically makes we have a good block on the 5-5 five five, so I don't think we need Elk Blade here I think playing Asban Guide might be fine no, I'm not going to flip it next turn ay 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 so indecisive we got to play something that's it. That's it. We're done. Because it's five to flip. Takes seven in the air. His prowess, too. We have quite a few flying creatures in our deck, too. Really want to draw that bat. That's the card we want the most. Missed the point of damage there, so. Uh. Alright. We're pretty much dead. Go to three. And they have Archer's Parapet. That's not going to do it. I think we lost, boys. Boys and girls. You know, and we finally lose a game. Not that we finally lose a game, because we've lost a few. But we finally had the right mana in our hand, too. And our hand was good, just a turn two five fives. Just like, that really slowed us down. Well, I'm sad. I thought this deck was definitely good enough to make day two. Um, so, unfortunate, for sure. Uh, I don't think I played bad. I think I just... Those, those first two losses are just getting completely mana screwed. My first three games are just like very hard to come back from. Then we have to win seven in a row, basically. So, uh, sad. Pretty sad. But, yeah, again, I think my deck was pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, I could have used a little bit better fixing. That would have helped a lot, but I had some, some goodies. Siege Rhino's good. Two Absent Charms, great. Uh, obviously, Wingmate Rock is nutty. This card's super good. Um, plenty of Flyer, Horde Chiefs, Alabaster Currents. Just, deck was good. Just uh, didn't get there, man. Magic's, so much luck is with Magic, right? So, luck wasn't in our favor today. Uh, will I do another one? 
probably not. So um, we'll see. Probably no day two for me this 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 week. So uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.